Mm. So welcome back. Good morning. Uh, so yeah, I've just dropped the goblins off at school. And um, yeah, I've been down to Axminster Tools and I've bought uh, myself a pin vise and uh, a little hammer, a little dinky hammer, I'll show you. So today we are cleaning fossils. See if we can get this in focus. We are going to clean fossils with, we're going to clean fossils with this. So it's um, a pin vise, there you go, it's a pin vise uh, with a, a bit of sharpened tungsten carbide rod in it. Uh, I've took the end off. Uh, it did have, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Anyway, it had a bit on the end. Yeah, it had a, it had a bit on the end. Uh, and I took that bit off because it was a bit rattly, a bit tick, 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 for it. I've had a little play with this, tick, 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 tick. and you know what? I'm I'm quite impressed with the you know. I had a little promiscuous, so a little quite a common little ammonite. Uh, I have a bit of a flat stone. Uh, the you know for that type of fossil, it chips, it pops really easy. This one was a bit sticky. Um, but generally, pop the shell. You know, when you when you when you're penning it with a, a normal air scribe, the the shell it'll it'll pop off when you get close. So it's quite a nice one to to give this little method a go. I had a little tinkle. Little jumper. See me jump. It's Christmas, isn't it? But yeah. So yeah, an air scribe will hit uh, hit. I think it's something ridiculous, like 40,000 times a minute. Ooh. So I've had a little... Uh, Tippy This 
uh, is what what we've what we've ended up with. Uh, like I say, this is not museum quality, but it's just to show you that with what I've got in my hand, you can extract and reveal a fossil. So let's have a look. I mean, I'm not that. I'm, it's not amazing quality. Like you know, it's a bit sticky, but it was a bit sticky. And if you noticed as well in the video, I really, really struggled. I really, really struggled to, to hold it. I ended up whacking it in a big vice just to give a thing. I think a sandbag might really help. So, yeah, you know, it's not museum quality, but I've revealed an ammonite. It's fossil prep on its most basic level. And it's anything that you can do. I mean, you could even get, if you if you didn't have, you know, I could now smooth this off, give it a Waswin air abrasive, cut in the opening, and it'd look quite nice. But, um, you know, if you've not got those tools, you know, you could you could grind grind off around with a with a Dremel now with some diamond burrs. Now you've sort of revealed the ammonite, and just sort of smooth off the matrix with a with a Dremel. It's probably you know as well as polishing uh, big ammonites and stuff like that. That's what I'd, only only time I'd use a Dremel. Or if you had a diamond uh, cutting blade in it, bang, that's, that's it's pretty good for that as well. Like me me me, putting uh, <laughs> me. Uh, yeah. <sighs> I think I've had too much gin. So for my next video, what we've got is we're taking it up a notch. Yeah, that was like pins and hammers, mini chiseling. That was like a three. We're taking it up to like a six. So we've got there you go, power record. Yeah, it's about a fifty quid um, engraver. It comes with some nice. Tungsten sharp and carbide bits, and then I've got this. I have me, uh, I have me a dress, and we've got this 12 quid bit of tat, uh, which is also same thing. It's an electric engraver. I've not even opened it yet, so I'll open that and see uh, what the 12 quid bit of tat can do. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to that vid. So uh, tune in for that. So if you want to see. Um, yeah, pointing. Yeah, it's meant to be like that, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Calm, calm. Point. Aggressive. Ah. So, if you'd like to see um, what those electric engravers can do, tune in for the next vid. Should be quite good. But then pins and hammers, just go out and do it. Get yourself. If you're into your fossils and you want to clean some stuff up that you've got hanging about in garage that you've had there for donkey's years, just go and do it. Yeah. Yeah.